Hello, my name is Chief Tiger, and today I'm going to show you uh, the top add-ons for Gmod that are out right now. So, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do, let's just get straight to it, uh, you need to go to this web address, which is http colon slash slash tortoisesvn.net slash downloads. I'll put the link in the description, though, so you don't really have to type that all in for me saying it. But, um, when you go to that link, you uh, scroll down and on the download application it will have two different uh, downloads one of them is the installer and the other is the GPG signature ignore this you don't need the GPG signature you just need the installer uh, you need to know whether your operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit and to check that you would uh, go to your computer right click and hit properties and it'll tell you right there mine's a 64 bit so, but since I already have this installed, I don't have to do any of this. But uh, once you have it installed, you uh, make a folder called Gary's Mod Stuff or whatever you want to name it, because this is what we're going to use to put all the add-ons into temporarily. And then uh, mine already has a little bit of stuff in it. So uh, once you get towards SVN, I have the SVN links right here for two top mods. Um, the Phoenix 3 mod, which includes uh, thousands upon thousands of new models. And uh, Wire mod, which uh, is, if you guys know basic knowledge and play Gmod for a little bit, you know what Wire mod is. So, um, this is just here to help show where they're at. And um, this link right here, all these links will be in the description. But this link right here is the uh, SVN, and I'll show you how to use Taurus SVN. So you just take this link, you copy it. Do not go into it, because you'll just get a web page that has like a bunch of directories, but it's stupid. You can't download anything. You have to copy the link from the description. And then once you have it copied, you go into your folder and uh, create a folder called Phoenix3. This is for the Phoenix mod. Go into that folder. It should be empty right click and hit SVN checkout and a little box will pop up like this and on your URL of repository you just paste the link and then the checkout directory you don't bother with it and uh, ignore everything else just hit OK and then a little box like this will pop up and start downloading stuff and it'll start creating all the stuff but I don't need it so I'm just gonna cancel I already have this. So, just delete that. Okay. Alright. But then once it's done, it'll have the little green check mark next to it. Blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, after that's done, it takes a while too because it's a pretty big add on. Um, then you want WireMod next, so you'll take the link for WireMod and copy it as well. And do the same thing, create a folder called WireMod, SVN Checkout, paste the link, OK. And it'll start. And you can do two SVNs at the same time if you have a really good internet connection. So, OK. But I already have it as well. So, no need to download it. Um, next, we have the uh, vehicle pack for uh, this FS clan. Uh, this pack is really good because it has a lot of the uh, vehicle packs put together and I've tried like links for Vmod and Gmao but a lot of them don't work so I just chose this one because it's on Garysmod.org and uh, that's a trustworthy download. So uh, good job clan FS did a good job with this pack. Um, then we've got the Pro Builders Stool Pack, which contains uh, a lot of new tools like weight and buoyancy, and uh, yeah, you'll you'll just have to see for yourself. There's a lot, but um, it also has keypad. Uh, this one is a NPC pack. It has uh, a lot of NPCs. Some are from Doom. Some are like soldiers. And now, if you're uh, hosting a server and you're looking for an admin mod, uh. I personally enjoy ULX, although they could improve on some things. I'm not going to 
suggest that now because it's not the time and place, but this is my personal favorite is ULX admin mod. And uh it uses derma uh windows and frames as the uh interface. Uh this one is uh ASS mod, which stands for A Simple Server Mod, and its VGUI looks like um a drop down menu. So Depends on what your preferences is, like I put here, I'm sure there are more, but these two admin mods are the most popular, so I only listed them as to save space. They have very different displays, so just choose what suits you best. And, um, yeah, like I said, this one has a drop-down menu, this one has a, uh, derma frame type menu. But, uh, here's the links, they're also in the description as well. This is another SVN, these two links, so, um, don't click them, because you'll just get that directory thing again. You just write, you just copy them, do the same process I showed earlier in the video, and you should be okay. Uh, I don't have enough time in this video, but I'll make another video showing you how to install uh, these add-ons. So uh, just subscribe and check back, and I should have that video done in a little bit. But um, thanks for watching my guide, and I hope this helps all of you people that we're having trouble because that's what people need that are in trouble help yes goodbye